All right, friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing your daily horoscope for Wednesday. Oh, there we go. Wednesday, the 7th of July, 2021. Hmm. Take a little walk here in nature today. <clears throat> Something different, get out of the studio. So, we've got the moon moving through Gemini. Communication, information. Gemini, look at all these little yellow flowers. How cool is that? So Gemini, moon and Gemini, conjunct Mercury and Gemini, which is all about information. It's all about communication. There we go. Kind of cool, huh? And it's happening at 25 degrees of Gemini, which is going to be creating a quincunx to Pluto in the sign of Capricorn. What a marvelous little fun gem we discovered, my friends. I didn't know. I've never been here in my life. And there's just so many tiny yellow flowers. It's pretty incredible. <laughs> I love yellow flowers. They're just my favorite. Anyway, so the quincunx to Pluto, all at 25 degrees. So the moon's at 25 degrees. Uh, Mercury's at 25 degrees, Gemini. Pluto, 25 degrees, the sign of Capricorn. So... Pluto is all about transformation. Capricorn is about how we govern ourselves, the discipline that we give ourselves, how firm or stern we're going to be about any particular given subject. Deals with our reputation. So we could be communicating about something where our reputation is perhaps on the line. You see this little spider? I'm trying to get him in focus there. Yeah, he's there, either way. So our reputation could be on the line. Communicating, we wanna communicate. Communicate with compassion, communicate with care. This whole like month has been about communication. Fire sign, Leo, Venus, Mars getting closer and closer together as the days continue this month. Powerful connection this year, both in the sign of Leo, reminding us to step up. The, let me go back here for a second. This, the, the quincunx between Mercury and Pluto. That's a, that's a potent, that's a potent aspect. Because the moon is about our emotional security. Mercury is about communication. So this is saying, well, we have to communicate what we're feeling. We have to communicate what we're feeling. There's really no exception. We, <laughs> we have to communicate what we're feeling. Mars and Venus and Leo is saying, yeah, I, I have the, the courage and strength, the tenacity to move forward and do so. Like there's nothing holding me back from communicating that of which I'm feeling. And further, the sun being our point of illumination here, where everything's coming from. Look at this. It's endless water for... This is uh, Lake St. Clair here. Hmm. We'll go to the end. We'll see where it goes. We'll see where we're going today. Fearlessness. Fearlessness, you know, being able to tackle each day, and I think it's something that's an interesting energy that's in the air right now, uh, specifically with the sun and cancer, like we are talking about a moment ago. Point of illumination being in the space of this is where my safe space is, this is where my comfort is, and not wanting to break beyond that comfort in order to experience something new. And I think that's one of the challenges. Loud rocks. 
I think that's one of the challenges right now and why we do have the energy that we have is that we're this the, the change the the Venus excuse me the Uranus square to Saturn Venus opposing Saturn square to Uranus this is a T square that Mars first happened with Mars which Mars is almost like it's like a little tougher Mars can deal with that pressure a little bit more Mars can fight back where Venus is all about feels and where it's just like we're really going into a place of unknown uncomfortability uh, even if it's a place that we're desiring to go, even if it's some place that we're like, hey, my current life isn't working out the way that I want it to, something needs to change, something needs to give, something needs to break. And we were being called or being propelled or pushed in this new direction. And it's like this new direction is throwing so many challenges or so much pressure at us. You know, that's kind of the key here is that that pressure that Saturn is creating. Saturn opposing Venus, Saturn square to Uranus, Venus square to Uranus as well. You know, this is like unpredictable, unstable energy where it's like we think we know ourselves or we're feeling super motivated and going in a certain direction. There's some geese down here. We'll keep going to the end. And we're going in this direction. And, uh... And then all of a sudden there's this pressure where it's just like, do I, you know, can I, can I go through this change? Can I go through these challenges? Can I go through whatever it is that life is telling me I need to change something, but this pressure or, or this change is becoming so difficult or challenging itself that it's like part of me wants to go back to old ways. And I'm not saying me personally, I'm just saying this is the energy in the air. going back to old patterns, old habits, because this new concept of life, this new vision, this new quest, new way of living, this new way of daily uh, getting up, waking up daily, starting life, is becoming a challenge. Look at all the geese. Hello geese friends, don't mull me. They're out here doing their astrology report too. <laughs> Hi friends. And we've reached the end of our journey. And the end is just the beginning. And I think that's kind of where we're at here with this, with this energy. So much pressure to start something new, to change something, to be a part of this change, to be a part of a, a change in a system that the system seems outdated or corrupt or whatever it may be. And we have these endless opportunities, these endless possibilities. And what way do we want to move forward about it? What is necessary to communicate? What is important for our hearts to communicate during this time? Remembering our reputation is on the line of how we're communicating. And no matter what we want to communicate, whomever it may be, if it's a partnership, a job, a family member, a loved one, this is something deep that we care about with our sun in the sign of Cancer, with Venus and Mars in the sign of Leo, this is saying you have this permission, you have this permission, this freedom to communicate whatever it is that you got to communicate, say whatever you got to say, do whatever you got to do. To express yourself and be who whatever it is that you have to be and that you don't have to worry about judgment you don't have to be worried about worrying about being judged Isn't that gorgeous 
go back to our geese friends here. Look at them all. Just watching the sunset here with me at the point of this little island. <laughs> Where are they going? Just happy to be. All right, my friends. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. As always, thank you for hanging out with me. Love you. I wish you enough. See you tomorrow.